I was recently in Manchester <clears throat> and one devotee came up and said, you know, I used to teach chemistry. I was a professor of chemistry. And it was always my desire that when my son would become five, I would teach him to recite the periodic table of elements by heart. And those of you who have read science in school, you know what the periodic table is. It has so many different elements, all the different metals and gases and so on and so forth. But he said, once I came to Krishna consciousness, I thought I should teach him how to recite the verses of the Bhagavad Gita. And even though the boy is only seven years old now, he can recite many chapters of the Bhagavad Gita by heart. Transcendental knowledge, yes, that is what he is giving his son. Earlier he was giving his son, or wanted to give his son knowledge of this world, which has its importance undoubtedly, but comparatively the knowledge of the world beyond, the knowledge of this world from the perspective of the other world is also very important. Having spoken about Karma Yoga in chapter 3, now Lord Krishna is giving an understanding of divine knowledge. And he tells Arjuna that you must fight armed with knowledge. But how does one get this knowledge? Krishna first of all says that this knowledge of Bhagavad Gita is not something new. And neither is it the first time that I am speaking it to somebody. I have spoken this many times before. And then he says that I have spoken this first to the sun god Vivaswan, who spoke it to his son Manu, who then spoke it to his son King Ikshvaku. And in this way, this knowledge has come down the disciplic succession of saintly kings. Arjuna is naturally curious. If I were to tell you, that I recited Bhagavad Gita in front of Queen Victoria, you would say, really? How is that possible? Because Queen Victoria lived a hundred or two hundred years ago. Well, it's a natural question. So Arjuna is thinking like that, and the sun god lived millions of years before Arjuna did, not just a few hundred years. So Arjuna wants to know that how is it possible that you spoke this to the sun god? After all, we are contemporaries. We are of the same age. They were roughly a hundred years old when the battle of Kurukshetra was fought. And then Krishna tells him, My dear Arjuna, you and I have had many lifetimes, many appearances in this world. You have forgotten them, but I remember them. And I descend in every age to protect my devotees to destroy the miscreants and to establish true religion. And then Krishna explains his own appearance in this way and mentions that when I appear and then act for some time in this world, it is transcendental, it is divine. It is not like our ordinary actions of this world. And one who understands the divine nature of Krishna's appearance and activities becomes eligible to go back to Krishna's kingdom. Krishna also speaks about different types of sacrifices and so on that can be done and mentions that one must approach a bona fide spiritual master to understand this transcendental knowledge. So of all the different departments of knowledge, the knowledge of the Bhagavad Gita is most important. It's more important than computer software. It's more important than the periodic table of elements. It's certainly the most important branch of knowledge. So we should definitely study this Bhagavad Gita very, very seriously and perfect our life. <clears throat>